In this lesson, we'll cover adding our second floor interior walls. So let's go to the second floor plan in the project browser in the lower left. Once you have the second floor plan open, what you'll see in bold are the exterior walls for the second floor, and all the other walls that are grayed out are from the first floor, exterior walls and the interior walls. Now those walls from the first floor, the interior ones, you could copy them and paste them to this level, or we could trace over top of them. In this example, we're just going to use them to trace because predominantly the walls on this floor are in different positions. So let's go to the Architecture tab, let's click Wall, and verify Basic Wall Interior 4.5 Partition is selected. For Wall Location, verify Wall Centerline is selected. Now what I want to do is draw a vertical wall on the right, right over top of the wall that's between Grid 7 and Grid 8. I'm going to start on the very bottom and zoom in, and I'll move my mouse to the midpoint of the wall. When the midpoint snap appears, click and draw your wall now vertically to the other side until you snap it into the exterior wall on the very top or the north side of the building. Click Escape once to end that wall segment line. Next, what I'd like to do is draw a horizontal wall all the way along grid line C. That's the horizontal grid through the middle of the actual structure. So with the wall command still selected, Zoom in once again, grab the midpoint on either the right or the left, and draw a wall all the way horizontally through the main living area of the house. Again, hit Escape once to end the line segment. Now with those walls created, we can start to offset or we can add a few additional walls. So in this example here, let's add a few additional walls. One more wall that we'll add will start on the left in this case below grid line 6, clicking again at its midpoint, and then drawing vertical up to the existing wall that's in the middle, and click. And you'll notice those walls snap together. Now we're going to switch to offsetting some of the walls, and then we'll trim some of those offset walls up once we're done. If you're still in the wall tool, verify you end that first. Click modify on the left or escape twice. Then click the Modify tab on the ribbon. Once on the Modify tab, click Offset. On the Option bar, change the offset distance to 3 feet. Verify Copy is checked. Move your mouse over the horizontal wall through the middle of the building, and move your mouse below that wall so it's offset below. Click. Change the offset value now to 5 feet. The wall will offset now is the same wall, but offset it above itself 5 feet. Hit the Escape key or Modify button to end the command. Now we need to trim up some of these walls. First, though, I need to split these walls right in the middle, the two horizontal ones. To use the Split tool, go to the Modify tab. In the Modify panel, click Split Elements. Now the location where you split doesn't really matter as long as they're split in the middle. So move over one of the horizontal walls, click it, it'll create a split line. Go to the one below that and do the same thing. Click Modify when done. Now we can use our actual trim tools to trim our walls. First trim tool I'll use is the Trim Extend to Corner. When selecting it, I'll zoom in to the right side below grid line 6. Select again the pieces that you want to keep. So I'm going to keep the left side of the horizontal wall and the bottom side of the vertical wall. Now I need to switch the command to trim off the wall below it. So for that tool, I'm going to use the Trim Extend Single Element. Select it. And the first thing you want to do is select the cutting edge, or the surface that will do the trimming. That will be the right side of the vertical wall. Click it. And again, click the part of the wall horizontally that you want to keep, the left side of it. Now we'll trim off the walls on the right. So the vertical wall on the right, click the left side of it as the cutting edge, then click the right side of the horizontal walls to keep. Repeat the same process by clicking the cutting edge first, and then selecting the part of the horizontal wall that you want to keep. Now above that, we also have a similar situation, but we want to keep the left side. So I'm going to select the right side of the vertical wall, 
And then I'm going to select the left side of the horizontal wall to keep. Go ahead and click Modify to end the command. Now there are a few more walls that we need to create. One, we need to create a separation wall in this closet space area on the right and the left. So let's go to the Architecture tab, click Wall, verify the interior four and a half partition wall is selected, and zoom into the area space on the left for the closet, and select to draw a wall over top the existing grid line. Repeat the process on the right side. Now here, we're just going to use the midpoint of one of the walls to one of the midpoints on the wall below. Click Modify. Last step is to add one more wall. That vertical wall will be between grid line 5 and grid line 6. So start the wall command again, and this time we'll move roughly halfway between those two grid lines. Now we know the grid spacing is 10 feet. So if I move my mouse to where I see a five foot dimension, I know I can start there. So go ahead and click when you see five feet, drag down until you intersect the horizontal wall, and then select. Click Modify to end. The last step here is to simply trim up this piece of the wall. So go to the Modify tab, click Trim Corner, and then simply select the pieces that you want to keep, trimming off the pieces that you no longer need. Click Modify to end the command. Now to see the second floor and the first floor walls, simply look at the 3D view, and you can see the walls stacked on top of each other from the first floor and the second floor. So in this lesson, we created walls for our interior second floor space. We drew some of the walls over top of the first floor walls, and then we use the offset tool and trim tools to finish adding and cleaning up those interior walls.